Kane Nevea, Paris Hilton, and Lindsay Lohan have all released records that even without good reviews still amazingly sell millions of copies. This can also be seen in one of the political issues that Nevea has become synonymous with. Alcohol sells in the West Texas town of Lubbock. A city where alcohol sales had been prohibited for years. This year when the vote to make Lubbock wet or allow alcohol to be sold in stores was propositioned, Nevea, a staunch supporter and user of alcohol, joined the cause. He urged the student body of Texas Tech to join him in the fight to change this law and make Lubbock wet. Kane went so far as to make t-shirts that proclaimed, Kane makes Lubbock wet. He knew his public would be pivotal in the vote to change this law. Sean McGregor, head of the college VIP card, even wrote a personal letter to thank Kane Nevea for all of his hard work on the campaign. This shows us how the simple endorsement of a celebrity can bring about change. And it explains why presidential candidates care about who endorses them. A prime example of this was when President Barack Obama refused the endorsement of Lindsay Lohan, while his opponent, John McCain, compared Obama to Britney Spears and Paris Hilton, calling him the biggest celebrity in the world. Dash Snow is a successful young tragedy that reflects Theodora, the, Theodore Adorno's theory by becoming bigger than the art he produced. His art began with Polaroids documenting his life as a graffiti artist in New York City, but went on to make a strange mixture of installation and collage up to his death at age 27. His Polaroids were the start of his fame as an artist, and brought about his inclusion in the Whitney Biennial, A Day for Night. Soon after his validation as a promising artist by the Whitney, he began making even more questionable art. The highlight of his art, selling at high prices with little content, is probably his series of collage New York Post covers, which he would ejaculate on, sprinkle glitter on, and then frame which now sell for thousands of dollars. Clearly, these framed or unframed New York Post covers would have no value with anonymous semen on them. <laughs> but, just like Lindsay Lohan's album, Speak, Paris Hilton's album, Paris, and Kane Nevaeh's upcoming release, Triple Threat, sell with disregard for their bad reviews, Dash Snow's po New York Post covers covered in ejaculate sell for outrageous prices. Both Dash Snow's art sales and celebrity album sales are concrete evidence that Adorno's theory is alive and well today, and a huge factor in the celebrity culture machine. This theory is an important factor for us to keep in mind whenever unexplainable success is afoot. The, it is the dynamic that keeps individuals like Cain at the top. Now we can see why Cain Nevea is the perfect example of American celebrity. Men want to be him, and women want to be with him, so would be the cliche. He is paid to party and make a fool of himself, and he gets away with terrible behavior, with little more than a slap on the wrist. It is safe to say that most of us have thought it must be nice to be rich and famous and compensated for all night binges, all while in the throes of the celebrity it crowd. This is what we want and what we aspire toward. And sick individuals that we are, we fund it. We can criticize Kane Nevea, Lindsay Lohan, and Paris Hilton all we want. But in the end, it is we, the viewer, 
that cranks the machine. Through all this theory and life that imitates art, do we now see Cain Nevaeh as a teacher or trickster? Perhaps. But are we the ones who need to look at ourselves? Can we justify the fact that we spend countless hours inspecting the lives of celebrities, sometimes admiring them and other times trying to destroy them? We may think that Cain is a fool, but we are the fools being manipulated here. The true artists are the media and the celebrities playing puppets here to our lives and our emotions. We, the people, are patsies. Every aspect of our lives is influenced by these insipid characters whom we worship and adore, love and hate. Thank you so much for coming. Mr. Pierce will be out in a moment.